Yo, what's up guys? This is Gnarly TV coming at you with our first tip trick video for Hyperscape. There's something that I discovered messing around in the firing range uh, the other day, and it seems like not a whole lot of people know about this little secret involving the Skybreaker and the Komodo. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the firing range and show you what I'm talking about. So among the weapons you would find in Neo Arcadia when you play Hyperscape, there is the Skybreaker, which is a very OP weapon, and the Komodo, which is probably more passed up by some people. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret about the Skybreaker. See, people use the Skybreaker to one-tap and then spray with their secondary, but if you look closely, up close, the Skybreaker does 25 damage. You take a step back, boom, 31 damage. You take a little bit more step back, boom, 36 damage. Now keep in mind, that is the stock Skybreaker, but if you were to pick up four more to fully fuse your Skybreaker, the damage does increase exponentially, as you can see here. Up close, the damage does 36. One step back, 51, take another step back, and you've got 64 damage. The Komodo, on the other hand, deals damage in the same principle as the Skybreaker, except it's a little bit less. 18, 20, 24, 27, 29. Something else to keep in mind when you're fighting enemies using the Komodo or Skybreaker, when you have enemies clustered together closely in squads or faction war, you can fire off one round into the crowd to deal damage to everybody. However, the initial damage intake on your enemies will decrease based on how many people are standing around the blast. One of the most common loadouts I've seen in Neo Arcadia with the Skybreaker is the Hexfire. Because you can just fire off one round at someone with the Skybreaker and then unload on them with the Hexfire before they even really realize what's going on. Toxic. If you feel like your shots are on point, use the Skybreaker as crowd control. Damage surrounding enemies and then pop them off real quickly with the Riot 1. Riot 1's also pretty toxic. Or if the Ripper is more your style, apply the same technique but hit people for 12 damage a shot. Oof. Tap them once with the Skybreaker and rush with the Mammoth. You only found a D-tap and a Skybreaker? Well, that's not going to be a problem either. That's basically the gist of this here video, talking about the Skybreaker and Komodo. I hope you guys took something away from this that you can utilize in your future games of Hyperscape. If you like the content, be sure to like, subscribe, follow. I'm live on Twitch almost every day. Go ahead and hit that link in the bio, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.